Dear faithful, today is the feast day of St. Paulinus of uh, Nola, and uh, he was a Frenchman who lived at the late uh, 300s and early uh, 400s. And St. Paulinus uh, of Nola is one of those great saints who decided that he rather seeks after heavenly kingdom the rather uh, than uh, and tries to get himself honor and glory in this earth. Very often, if you seek uh, honor, prestige, titles in this world, it ends up uh, that you lose your prestige in the afterworld. And since this world lasts only a moment, but uh, the other afterlife that lasts eternity, that is something which we have to very often keep in mind when we think what is what are the priorities of this life. St. Paulinus uh, of uh, Nola, uh, he was a Frenchman and he uh, was from a high-ranking uh, family and he became a consul, which uh, in those uh, days was kind of a very high-ranking politician. And he also married uh, to a noble family. And he and his wife, uh, they were Christians uh, by, and Catholics, uh, but uh, kind of a, a little bit uh, worldly, uh, not uh, evil or sinful, but uh, those kind of persons who did not mind religion too much, kind of a, as an extra for their other daily activities. But uh, then uh, St. Paulinus uh, met uh, St. Ambrose, the famous and holy bishop of Milan, and he started then to the exhortations of this holy uh, bishop to think about the purity of heart, that uh, the most noble thing what a man or a woman could possess is puri purity and nobility of heart rather than great titles or great fortunes in uh, this uh, world. And uh, besides, those times were very hard for the Roman Empire in the West Roman Empire was starting to crumble. There were the attacks of barbarians and many, uh, many people, uh, including the family of St. Paulinus, they lost a, a big portion of their property in raids and uh, in robbings, which were so, uh, um, so often happening on those tumultuous uh, times. But uh, the most uh, uh, sorrow, sorrowful loss uh, for St. Paulinus was that he and his wife, they lost uh, their, new, uh, their son, who was still an infant, and uh, they had to see him uh, buried and laid in the coldness of the uh, ground. And this uh, uh, St. Paulinus, he called his uh, dead son the holy offspring, because uh, even though uh, he had died as very young, he was holy because he had been purified by the waters of baptism. And even though it was uh, sad for him to depart from uh, his son, he knew that he was now in heaven. What better uh, end could have there been in a, such a short but uh, sweet life of this little uh, boy? And after the death of his son, uh, St. Paulinus uh, decided that from now on, he wants to be like his son, namely, uh, a, uh, eventually a holy soul in heaven. And since he, his heart was now pure from all the detachment of the world, he decided uh, that the best place to prepare to become a saint is to live uh, for the heaven already here on this earth. So St. Paulinus sold all his uh, remaining property and gave money uh, to the poor and then he, like St. John the Baptist, retired in the wilderness to worship and uh, worship God uh, as a recluse. And this uh, radical move made him a laughingstock for his uh, family. They all called him a strange, uh, a weirdo, or even a madman. But uh, this uh, holy saint, he didn't mind because he knew that they had also left to the evil people had also left to our Redeemer, 
uh, well, he was still uh, here on uh, eventually St. Paulinus was ordained and uh, he became a, a bishop, but he in his heart now always knew for the rest of his life that his true home was not this earth, but it would be heaven where he made every effort to attain uh, and uh, throughout the rest of his life. Uh, dear faithful, the life of uh, St. Paulinus uh, teaches us who are the uh, real uh, uh, success stories uh, in uh, this life. Even after all these centuries, we remember the deeds and holiness of St. Paulinus, while his relatives and the politicians and every uh, single big shot who in those days was laughing to him and mocking him and uh, calling him strange uh, and uh, crazy. All of them have long, long since uh, been forgotten. Uh, while we here on this earth, we still ask this holy man to intercede for us that we also, like he all those centuries ago, we could see with our own clear eyes and with our minds that it doesn't matter what is our stance uh, here in this earth, no matter how high or highly we are appreciated by the people on this life, it matters nothing unless we are appreciated also by our Heavenly Father. And we gain this appreciation from our Father if we try as much as it lies in our possibility to be like Jesus was, namely always humble, always uh, kind uh, uh, to others, always remembering the will of our Heavenly Father rather than our own. And this is the most challenging way for a Christian to submit his uh, life and his will to the will of his Heavenly Father, because he wanted to do this. St. Paulinus of uh, Nola was mocked by the people of uh, this earth, but he was welcomed to heaven after his death by God Almighty. And if we are ready to face uh, persecution, at least a little bit in this life uh, as well, and always do the will of our Father, even if we are deemed as strange or even crazy by the others. If we are ready to stand that trial, we also are remembered by our Heavenly Father after our death. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.